So a toxic dagger is uh, a CBR and exercise uh, involving 40 commando and DSTL. Um, DSTL's role within this is to actually write all the vignettes uh, and also support the exercise through, through throughout. Um, we've had very, this is a three week exercise now and we're in the last day of the three week exercise where this exercise is a full play. What you see behind me at the moment is a CDA which is a chemical de decontamination area. So we're having Royal Marines and enemy forces who have been injured uh, be it kinetically or with a C uh, chemical attachment and this is a role where they're going to be uh, actually dealing with it. Uh, and the other part is from, from here there's a reach back capability stood up at DSTL to give them scientific advice, uh, not only within DSTL but other uh, government agencies, to help them uh, respond to the incident a lot quicker, a, a major impact. And that's, that's this exercise in, in, a, in a sort of nutshell of a three week course. So DSTL's role in Toxic Dagger has been in creation. This is the fourth year we've supported Toxic Dagger. Uh, our role is to support 40 Commando in planning the exercise from start to finish. So we've been involved in putting this exercise together for the last X number of months now. And like I said, this is the final day of the exercise. Uh, within that, we've got a capability stood up, which is a reach back capability. And it's a scientific community from DSTL to give the 40 commandos the scientific advice at operational, tactical and strategic, should they need it in dealing with a CBRN event. Uh, this is the culmination of the final day. Anything we do requires us uh, to develop and, uh, and harness uh, relationships across the defence organisation. But I think in this area specifically, because, it's, uh, because the threat is a technical one, uh, it's a scientific one, uh, the ability for us to reach out to organisations with greater specialist skills than ours across the military organisations, so particularly within Air Command with 24th Protection Wing um, uh, and, and others across the British Army, um, but I think the, most, the relationship that is the most uh, important to us is the one with DSTL.